morning. Good morning. Good morning. We are really excited about tomorrow. You know, this campaign started in March. It took us all over New York State along the way. We put on over 40,000 miles on our car, and we've met tens and tens of thousands of people. And it's really shifted in the last two weeks. People understand that the economy is not doing well, that we have the highest taxes in America. Unfortunately, we have a governor who is under federal investigation for corruption. And so we can make a real change on Tuesday. Everywhere we go now, people are saying hello, they're voting for us, they're saying I'm a Democrat and I'm voting for you. Uh, the upstate rallies were huge. The rally we had in Long Island yesterday, huge. And this is the feeling of a winning campaign. Old Schmoll didn't have uh, Pataki up in 94. The Daily News poll had him down 17 points going into election day. And, you know, we've seen this before. It's the passion of voters that matter, who votes matters, and our vote's coming out. We're all excited about tomorrow. You know, I'd be lying if I said that we're all looking forward to come to an end because we've been doing this. But, you know, I just want to get back to some normalcy with my family. And, and uh, I think at any campaign when it ends, people are just like, okay, we gave it our best. And we're really excited about the outcome tomorrow. We're really excited because everything we've planned is coming to fruition now. Campaigns, you have a win or a loss. Just like New York State, we keep asking, are you winning or losing? This state is losing badly. And so we can change course in this state and put it back in the winning column again, be one of the greatest states in America. Right now we're at the bottom of the rankings in everything that matters. And we shouldn't settle for that. So we're expecting not a moral win tomorrow, we're expecting a win tomorrow. Thank you for a lot of your support today, your overwhelming support. I know some of you said you've already voted for me absentee. Others are ready to vote tomorrow, and I appreciate it. And, you know, a couple of things. You've probably seen on TV this ridiculous soup commercial from Cuomo. It is so false that even the New York Times said it was false. So he has done a string of nasty, negative, false ads. The soup commercial, the latest is we're going to put a gun in every kid's hand so they can go to school just utter nonsense. And of course, the race card. That's what he's playing now with Al Sharpton. We can put an end to this nonsense because as a state, we're not doing well. A lot of people are struggling in our state, whether it's seniors, middle class families, your kids probably trying to hang on or thinking of moving out of New York. That's the last thing we should want. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. Have a great day. Thank you very much. Rock, okay. Go here. Yep. Thank you. Take care.